Well, hello everyone, I am Fracture, and this is Let's Fail at Doing a Let's Play Death Bank Thongs of Virtue on the PC using the Xbox controller. Hmm, a little problem, technical, technical glitch, English speaking glitch. I posted these videos, and Korasai, I hope I pronounced that right, left a message. Hey, wait a minute. Something is missing between videos 57 and 58. Oh boy, was he ever right. I think somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes of video disappeared. I've been recording a lot of these Let's Play videos really fast. All I think I did, I must have deleted some without actually compressing them into YouTube videos. That's all I can think of. Because I remember recording them and the way you do save games in this game, you can't go back, you have to go forward, so it looks like somehow I just I lost some videos. But I feel I owe you at least a description of what was going on at the time and, and at least move us forward. So that's what this is, a little bit of an apology, and I'm going to show you how I solved the puzzle at the end of the last video. You'll notice I'm wearing my long johns, that's because I took off my armor. That's a tiny minor spoiler if I left it on, so I'm, I'm wearing my underwear. Hopefully I won't die because of that. I don't think I will. So, at the end of the last video, I was trying to clear a bo blockage up the tracks. And I was trying all sorts of things without success and getting very frustrated. And if it was any other sort of thing, I probably would have just let the missing video slide, but I kind of left a cliffhanger. Now, what was happening is I was supposed to talk to this gentleman. He was, well, much less transparent last time I was here. The game I have since finished and I'm kind of coming back. So he's no longer here. The conductor was here and said, oh, there is a blockage on the track. Here, carry this vat of acid to clear the rocks. Well, that was very difficult because each time the acid dripped, once about every two seconds, it would take off twice the health of last time and I was trying all sorts of shortcuts to get up the track. Silly me, the solution was just straightforward. You just run up the track, you make sure you have health potions, and any time you get even close to half your health, heal yourself. Don't wait, because when you get to half health, the next drip will probably kill you. And that was the frustrating part. I couldn't figure out why I had so, many, so much health and then died. Then you would give the acid to this gentleman. And let me just check the map to make sure I am not steering you wrong. Yes, I believe that's the case. Because I do, uh, and then he clears this, and then we're over here. And let's show you around this area. I think we went down here. What was down here? Oh yes, this gentleman, this gentleman, Lewis Clark, was looking for ten pieces of camping equipment. And that was just a quest all over this area of town. It was just scattered around. Little knapsacks you had to pick up. Oh, I'm having a frame rate problems, but I'm going to ignore them because this is just a little show-off thing. And walk up here, and there was some up here, wandering around. And then finally you collect all of those. And... Of course, there was another one of the cave quests. There was nothing special with this cave quest. Simply go and get yourself some more crystals. That was pretty straightforward. Then we came down here to the end of the tracks, and there was a boss battle of some sort, and I don't recall what it was. We talked to this engineer. Greetings again! Thanks again! No! Def Oh, I remember this, yes. I will try and find another Let's Player that did this quest and maybe put a link in the uh, description of this video so that you can see it. But what happened is this the track was blocked here, the engineer was out of dynamite, out of acid, and there was a mountain in the way. So there's actually kind of an amusing cutscene where Deathbank goes through university and gets an engineering degree and builds a cave through the mountain and that solved that quest. I seem to remember there was also something to fight, but the fight was pretty trivial at the level I was at. So that got us that solved. But 
I discovered this rather interesting cave. They don't mention it. They make no illusions as to what it's for. I had assumed it was the path through the mountain, and clearly that's what it's supposed to be. But when you go poke your head in the cave, rather amusingly, if you look around, nothing's fighting you. It's a bunch of extras. They, they all have Hothead Games logos on their coats. There's a Hothead Games sign. Hothead, of course, is either the publisher or the developer publisher of this game. These are art orcs, and you look around, and there's equipment lying around, and cutouts, and parade floats, and... This cave is storage for the game. This is where they keep all of their props for the game. And, okay. Guess you had to be there. I, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, you can attack these guys, and it won't start a fight, but... You know, there you go. This is where they keep all their equipment so that they can build the levels for us. There's no purpose for this. Just, yeah, I thought really funny. Good way to end the track. So that's really the only other piece that we missed with my Let's Plays. And then I continued on. We're, we're pretty much wrapped up at this point. And I believe that's where the next video starts. So really all we did was we cleared out two camps... Boy, did I lose all of the Wharton stuff? I don't think I did. I think the Wharton's fight is still alive. But, you know, I, I don't know. And the Blood Mountain Monks? Uh, maybe you tell me. The Blood Mountain Monks, they were monks. We had to kill them, but they wouldn't fight. I'll go look through my videos, so this may be something you already know. They wouldn't fight us. The fight was the same. Blood Mountain Monks. Fight was the same as anything else, but we had to get them to fight us. They wouldn't fight us, but we talked to another guy a little further down the tracks, and he said, they haven't been paying their rent. Put this put this eviction notice on the, the church door. We put the eviction notice on, and of course they immediately all got pissed off and they attacked us. Perfect. Blue Bandito Camp, nothing special there, standard fight. And I'm hoping Wharton's I didn't lose. I'm a little worried because how far down the track it is, but I'm pretty sure I didn't lose the Warden's fight. And that was about it. And once we had done that, we just moved on to bigger areas of the map. As you can see, that's the end, the desert end. And we worked our way towards, as you saw, the lake and the North Pole and that sort of thing. And I know I recorded that. So there you go. There's my apology. I'm sorry, yes, somehow I goofed, I lost the videos, there's no recovering them, I simply can't keep this many raw fraps files on my hard drive, and I was doing Divine Divinity at the same time, so my brain fart basically, and I managed to delete some stuff. So there you go, I hope that uh, suffices in the way of an apology, and I hope it gets you all sort of sorted out so you can see where we're heading in the next video. And if I can find easily some high-quality Death Spank Let's Play that shows at the approximate region I missed, I'll put a link to it so at least you can see somebody fight their way through it. And hey, you might find yourself another good Let's Player. I'll, I'll try to find a Let's Player that does a really good, amusing job of this. So, anyway, I thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. But hey, keep it down. I... It was a, it was a, I just made a mistake, I'm sorry. I know, my whole life is ruined. But, anyway, uh, if you like my videos, don't forget to give me the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.